media prediction. 18th place, you reckon? Currently sitting pretty in 5th. I mean, I'm as surprised as you guys are, but we've made some solid transfers. Hello guys, and welcome back to the 49th episode of the FM21 Salford City Save, where today we are facing Cardiff City and Birmingham City in the last episode where we will be in the transfer window. We are going to go all the way to deadline day. I'm even doing something special for you guys. I am simulating outside of the two games. You heard that right. I never do that. I'm never that generous. But the transfer window does end two days after the game against Birmingham. So we're going to simulate out to there to wrap up the transfer window. And hopefully we can get some even more wonderful deals across the line. Gosh, wonderful. That was that was a very lovely and adjective. Is it an adjective? It's wonderful. And it, it, I think it is. It was a wonderful thing for me to say. Saying wonderful. That's enough wonderful to, for the day. It would be wonderful. You know, I can chuck in one more. It would be wonderful if you guys smash the like button on this video. Can we please get eight likes to celebrate the transfer window ending and us doing well so far in the league so far. Fifth place. Mate, we're doing very well. Make sure that you do subscribe as well so you don't miss a single episode in this FM21 journey. And for now, we are going to go over the transfers that I have made since last time. Starting with the sales as per usual, McCandy is the first one to leave. And he has gone for a profit of £300,000 roughly. We've sold him for six point six, not six, £625,000. And now he's gone up to £1.4 million worth of value. I can't say I agree with that in any way, shape, or form, but he was a player that we didn't really need anymore, so he goes out and a, a tidy fee for him. We've also managed to put Jack Wald Wed Wedham, you know who I want, this guy, on loan. He looks like a pretty good player, and he's a player that we brought in in the last episode. We've got him out on loan now. But going over to the signings, these are the important things. And Nati is the first man to come in. He comes in for £750,000. A very good, solid defender from the championship. who has got plenty of experience and is playing pretty well at the moment. Only one appearance and one off the bench as well. So he's got solid stats. He's a great rotation option and was not too expensive. Also only £3.7,000 a week. Can't complain about that. We've also brought in another centre-back in the form of Ber Ber Berger. I think I think that's not far off. I know I'm definitely not pronouncing that correct, but that's not far off. He comes in from Brighton on a free, and he looks like a player that we could be able to loan out. Potentially could build up his potential, but to be honest, this is the kind of man that we've brought in, and we're probably going to sell in a year's time for a profit. So that's kind of our current transfer stuff, deal, tactic. That's the word I was going for. It got there eventually, and it's, it's working so far, so... Don't mind if I do. I don't think I've lost money on a single player this series, so I'm just saying I'm a, fin a financial de genius. Last player that we've brought in is Jose Luis Romero, and I feel like I have smashed that name, and I have no idea how, but he comes in as a central attacking midfielder, who I think I'm going to train as a Mazala. Well, I've currently got him on Boxer Box because, you know, it kind of like trains the most areas, but he suits Mazala, in my opinion, if he can get that shooting up. And I want to get him out on loan, but I don't think it's going to happen. He comes in for just under a million pounds. Literally just under a million pounds. But I think this is an absolutely wonderful player for the future. He's already got some great uh, mental and some solid-ish physical stats. But the 17 passing, 17 first touch, 17 decisions, 15 determination, uh, even the 14 technique and 12 dribbling is absolutely outstanding for a youngster of his age. Do not mind it at all. And he comes in for only 5.25, uh, yeah, it's about the same amount, 5.25,000 pounds a week. And he looks like a very good player. And hopefully he can break his way into the squad and uh, potentially play a couple of games this season. But for now... We are ready, with all of that transfer negotiation stuff out of the way, to jump into the first game of this episode, and we are facing Cardiff. And surprisingly, we are the favourites to win this game, in my opinion. We have come away with some great results. I haven't gone over them, so we're not jumping into the game yet, because I remember we had to do that. Uh, so, since last time, we beat West Brom away from home. That was an outstanding performance where Gassama managed to get a hat-trick. Gassama is on insane form right now, scoring 6-5 and five this man is proving to be one of the best signings we've made all season. We got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. I can't act like I give a damn at all. 
But, oh gosh, I'm hard, aren't I? Don't give a damn. Wow. Back off. Don't want to mess with me. We also managed to beat Charlton Athletic at home with them getting a uh, sending off. So that's still a pretty solid result. And Brentford at home, away from home, sorry, a 1-0 win against a side that finished ninth place last year. I don't mind if I do. That is a very good result in my opinion. And we're definitely getting better in this league. We are winning games away from home. We're playing well at home. And now we're playing a game at home again against Cardiff. And this is the score that we're going with. Gasama. We've got Shved Perry, who is playing quite well at the moment. Not extraordinary, but he's got two assists from four appearances. So he's not too bad of a player. Sorry about that. Someone came into our house, and I wasn't sure if the recording picked it up, but they were speaking, and I, I got confused and startled. But this is the squad that we're going with. Who was I up to? I think I was up to Perry, Craig, Boydmouth, Williams, De Silva, Bolga, Bryant, Colson, and much. We've still not sold Kelleher, even though he has got some serious interest from some big clubs. But, yeah, no, I said I said to him accidentally that we would wait until a replacement comes in. I'm not selling or buying a replacement. Definitely not selling a replacement. Molden is probably going to be really cool if we do manage to sell him. But I wouldn't budge on much less than a million pounds for this man. So I think that, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're probably just going to have to re-sign him. I don't think he's interested in re-signing at the moment. No, he's unhappy at the club. So hopefully we can sort that out, get some sort of a fee for him. We'll have to sort it in the coming months. But for now, let's jump into this game. On balance mentality with the exact same tactic that has got us to the position that we are in right now. And hopefully we can continue our form, continue our win streak, which is now at four four games in a row, I think. Four games in the league, not in the Carabao Cup. No one cares about the Rick Carabao Cup, though. And I, I think I'm correct. We've played six games, lost one. We're now drawing one. And... We won four. So yeah, four games in a row. And oh, Perry almost scored his first goal for the club. That would have been a good way to introduce himself properly to the fans at home. I don't think he's played insanely well at home just yet. I'm sure both of his assists came in a win away from home. So it would be nice for him to get an early goal at home. Maybe turn this into a bit of a fortress for him. But he's still young. He's got a lot of growth to do. No, he's got a lot of proving to do. Especially with that fee of... 3.4 million pounds. Yeah, so that's going to be... yeah. That, if, if, if I'm going to lose money on a player in this entire series, it's going to be on Perry. Mark my words. Absolutely mark my words there. Oh, maybe it will be Somerville. I don't, I don't know. Is it Somerville? The, guy, the, the, the Holland guy that I can't get a work permit for and I thought Kasama just scored the goal of the season, but alas, it went just wide of the post. But we have another opportunity here. Not sure if it is our chance, but... We are on the ball, and we're moving it forward, which is always promising in football. Schwed running down that left-hand side, as he does so well, tries to whip a ball and doesn't do that so well. Uh, but we get the ball. We still have it. Williams looking for a pass, finds Poigmel. Poigmel moving it back to Brian, who can move it forward into Craig, into Schwed. Schwed looking for a pass, finds Kasama, and it's offside. I was, I was really ready to be like, and it's 1-0, but no, no. That was that was that's incredibly close, but I think he is inches offside, and that that is the definition of unfortunate. But we have another opportunity here. Can we? Yeah, Bulger, Ida goes at the goalkeeper, and I don't think the chance is over. We're facing our former goalkeeper, by the way. They're on a counter attack. Please don't. Not not like this. We've just had great opportunities, and they're in on goal, and we've blocked it. Okay, that's a chance over, surely. Don't need to see. Don't need to see anymore. No, we do need. We're not, I'd like to see some more actually. Gasama running at them, looking for the shot. Did, did they hit a post? I think they hit a post. The silver coming up with the ball once again. I don't think anything's going to come from this opportunity, but it's not ending just yet. Poigmel, Schved, Craig into Gasama. No way. That was the longest highlight ever. At first, I thought that we were going to score. At, then I thought they were going to score. Then Gasama hits the post, and then we score. Mate, you can never write off a chance in Football Manager, apparently. Craig with a decent pass into Gasama, and Gasama just pokes it home. By the way, Craig is starting because Hunt is injured. That's right, that's right, forgot to say about that. But Craig is actually playing all right right now. He's finding his feet in this league, finally getting his uh, stats up, getting some assists, getting some goals. No goals yet, and uh, they, they score a goal. They're completely against the run of play. I think that's one of their first shots of the game, and it's just before halftime. It's exactly when they want, would have wanted to get it, and I'm not even going to bother to watch that replay. Three shots, their first shot on target. 
Not happy with it, not happy with it at all, but we have an opportunity straight away in the second half, and it is probably going to come our way. I mean, based off, you know, the dominance in the first half, Perry's coming at them, shoots wide. I wasn't even really expecting that to bulge into the back of the net, but we have a... Uh, 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 what am I trying to say? An XG, there we go, of 1.9 at the moment. So we are certainly deserve it of another goal, I, I think. So hopefully it comes in this opportunity here as our former goalkeeper all the way back in the league too clears it long, but we pick it up. Colson whipping it long, can't find anyone, but I have a feeling that after this goalkeeper clears it forward, we're going to collect it once again. It does come, no, not to our player. Apparently our player... I think it was Bulger just decided against getting the ball there, but that, that's okay. We've picked it up now. Perry on the ball, moving forward, looking for a pass. He, he does play it, and Gassama's in. Goes for the shot, and it's hit the post. Oh, I thought that was going to be... That was a tight angle, to be fair, but I thought that was going to find its way into the back of the net. It would have been a very, very impressive goal if he did score it. But unfortunately, does just hit the post. And now I think I'm going to make my first substitution of the game in the 75th minute. Gosh, okay. It is... It is getting on a wee bit. Bon Giovanni's going to come on for, a, a, to be honest, quite a rare appearance. This man has not been given much of a chance, to be fair. I did play him for three games in a row at the start of the season. It just didn't show me much of what he's about. And, yeah, he's not really found his place in the squad too much lately. Let's give Platt a, perform a chance in the squad as well. De Silva coming off. Anyone else feeling tired? Apparently Williams is looking a bit knackered, but... Now we'll just stick with it. Bulgers on the ball. Into Brian. Up to Williams. Into Craig. Poigmel. Moving it forward. Over to Perry. Perry looking to whip a ball in. Or go for the shot himself. And Bon Giovanni could have made himself an absolute hero there tonight. But unfortunately it goes wide of the post. And I think with only 8 minutes to go we might be having to settle for a draw. But boys and girls I do not want to settle for this draw. Fury is going to come on. Williams is going to come off. Bon Giovanni is going to move into a shadow striker position. This is the money that I get paid, what what am I trying to say, this is what I'm trying to say, this is what I get paid, I don't, I don't know, this this is the tactical genius that pays the bills, I don't know, I'm, you, you, I think if you can work out what I'm trying to say, hats off to you, because even I don't really know, Craig's going to be a Mazala on, ta on support, and that sounds about right, only a couple more minutes ago, don't tell me this is a real opportunity and they're going to score from it, I will be fuming, Mate, you can't tell me that was that. You can't tell me that chance was go, uh, genuinely going to happen if I didn't start making tactical changes. I I don't believe it. I don't believe that chance was going to happen if I didn't make tactical changes. It's always a fake highlight. You can't tell me that was going to happen if I didn't. It, I'm telling you right now that would not have happened, and we do not deserve to be even slightly behind in this game. We deserve to be two or three goals up. Can we please get a goal back? To at least salvage a point, make it make more sense, make it at least slightly fair. Boigmel plays it into Gasama, who shoots over the bar, and we only have three more minutes of additional time. Come on, one chance. Oh, this, uh, that's a joke, man. Nah, that's that's annoyed me. I'm I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Oh, that is that is. It's not even. I'm 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 mad. I'm mad. I am mad. But I'm not mad at their performance. They played well. I mean, they got unlucky in front of goal, and that's, I'm not saying that that was bad in front of goal, that was just unlucky, but mate, how are you pleased with your comeback? Your team was terrible, they scored two, okay, I need to calm down, I'm gonna go make some signings, and uh, have a tea, maybe do some yoga, meditate for a minute, and uh, come back with a more positive attitude, because right now, yeah, uh, okay, that's not even English, can't even speak, it's time to take a pause. Alright boys and girls, I'm feeling better now, you know, much more positive, made some signings in between now and last time, and still could be making some more as a transfer window, still not closed just yet. Birmingham City are our next opponent, hopefully I've just remembered what happened in the last, like, no, I was, it was in my mind but now I'm mad again, I like, actually thought about it, and I'm, I'm, I'm upset again, because I just saw that kind of, okay, Deep breaths. I'll show you who I signed. That will that will make me feel a wee bit better. Here's another youngster. This one's 1.2 million pounds, so quite a hefty fee. But this man is looking like he's got some serious potential. He's going to be an inside forward, in my opinion. I think those stats are definitely most suited for an inside forward. Got some solid first touch, decent dribbling. That no, actually not decent dribbling. Dribbling that needs to improve. But 
good technique, good passing, a couple of good uh, mental stats and some very solid physical stats. It could have used a wee bit more pace in my opinion, but definitely a well-rounded player who is exciting and isn't far from the first team. So both of those Spanish players look like they could create a dynamic judo duo out on that left-hand side because I imagine I'll put him as a left-sided Mazzala and he will be a left-sided winger. So I like it. I think they're two great signings, players that can develop in the future. And this man has 10... Sorry, this I, I've just realised. He's got 10 tackling. What can I use? Can I, can I, mm. Mm. Could I train him as a CDM? I don't know. I I just don't know. I'm I'm now like, but he's not got that much pace. Is he a CDM? Is he a CDM? He's he's six foot two. He seems like a CDM. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. That's a decision for later on. Tactical meeting now. Don't think I sold any players. So I mean, we'll go over it in the transfer meeting. Uh, but the big news: Gasama, he's out. And I'm, I'm insanely depressed about it, okay? I'm, I'm not even going to act like that is exaggerating. It is a very saddening day. He is a brilliant player for us, and I can't play him. Very distraught, not depressed. I feel like that is um, undermining people that do have serious, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but, you know, very upset, very upset. Fury is coming out now because I've just realised Edge Hill is finally back from injury and so is Ollie Shaw. And maybe they can make their first team appearances for the first time this season. Hopefully get off the mark early. Completely forgot Edge Hill existed to be honest. I love that man. Brilliant player. One of the most overrated players in the series so far because last season he didn't do insanely well. But oh no, what am I talking about? Overrated, seven, nine goals, seven assists. Nah, he's good, he's good. I, I, I need to calm down. Edge Hill... Good player. Shved, Bon Giovanni, all right. Bon Giovanni, definitely not quite what I was expecting at this point, but he can always get better. Oh, I am paying him a lot of money, though. Hopefully he can get better. Let's jump into the first game of the the second half of the episode because it's the second game of the episode, but I didn't want to look like an idiot. Come on, lad, show me what you can do. It's not even what I've clicked, but it motivated one player, so we'll go with it. Um, um, it was a happy mistake. Birmingham. Down in 17th place, as I've already said, hopefully they do have a wee bit of a banana skin situation here. As, uh, what am I on about banana skin? We are above them. I don't, I don't even know what's going on with my cop. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. Mute it. Just mute it. Honestly, that's what I would do if I was you. They're coming in with the first opportunity of the game, and it, it's gone in. It's gone in. Jonathan Leco, former West Bromwich Albion player, and we're 1-0 down. After 25 minutes, first chance of the game. It's a free kick. And I'm pretty sure Lico's like five foot five. I'm actually checking that. I can't check that. They've, they've mugged me off there, football manager. If we score, it's the only reason I... Craig is a ginger. I, I love Craig even more now. Oh, mate. I'm going to play him all the time. I didn't realise he was a ginger. I don't even... I don't know how many ginger I, gingers I've had in football manager. I'm, I'm stoked about this now. Gosh. That's the most exciting thing I've discovered all day. They're coming with another opportunity, but we hit it clear. Very, no, it's not very, it's Perry on the ball. Running down the right-hand side as he's used to being an inside forward. I guess not really used to it, but he cuts inside there as he is used to being an inside forward. We're going to demand more. Hopefully see another highlight for us. And we're going, we're going to check if Lico is actually short. So, so, okay, I stand corrected. I apologize, Lico. Five foot five, definitely not. Okay, I can... I can see how we would have conceded a hitter to him now, yeah, I, I, can, I can understand it, a little, a little more respect for my defenders now, I mean, still, would have appreciated it if you didn't let a goal in, and would appreciate it if we scored from this corner, but I, I feel a little bit worse for saying, you know, bad, bad job, he's won the header there to get it out, but Shved, it's a shot wide, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, Bon Giovanni playing a 6.3, mate, you're just not doing well, and I'm sorry, it's just, it's just not doing good right now, is he? Craig's coming off, even though he's a ginger. He's going to move down to uh, the bench, and Bon Giovanni's going to move down to an Mazala. There we go, we got there eventually. Each Hill or Shved? No, Each Hill or Ollie Shaw. I think it's going to be Ollie Shaw, 
and Edge Hill is going to come in a wee bit later. Perry's moving out there. Shved out here. That seems like it makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That that all makes sense. Hopefully Shaw can have a great appearance off the bench, score a goal, get us back into the game, potentially even win it for us. I wouldn't mind that at all. It wasn't insane for us last season, so he's got a wee bit of making up to do this year. With 10 minutes to go, he certainly can do it. And I tell you what, it's, it's starting to think. I'm starting to think, sorry. That's edge all time. He needs to come on. We need the instant impact of this man after he comes back from injury. Can we see a highlight? Can we see a chance? There is a corner. We don't clear. Oh, we do, we, we've caught it. But that was the chance. That was the chance. I thought there was a counter and attacking opportunity. And we've lost both of our games in this episode. And we've moved down. Two games that we should have won. We've, we've genuinely won harder games. Much harder games. And we've lost these two. Both insanely unlucky. I, I guess it shows me that we are a good side. We're definitely up there, top half, I'd say. But we just need to make sure that we're consistent and getting the wins and, uh, yeah, not slipping up. But I'm going to simulate forward transfer deadline day. I'm not sure if I'm going to make any deals considering the fact that my shortlist is, is uh, pretty bland and I'm not actually really eyeing up anyone. I feel like I've rounded off the squad pretty well. We've got solid striker options, good wingers, uh, solid midfield options, Good right back, good centre backs. Maybe, maybe another centre back is where. I, but I'd only get one if he was really good. Left back's fine. Colson does a job, and the goalkeeper is fine. Like, uh, yeah, I think something astronomically good would have to come up for me to consider it. But yeah, no, I think I think we're pretty rounded out. I think we've got a good squad. I think this team could go up to the Premier League. I'd say could, very cautiously. But we're going to see if I do find anyone astronomically good. I doubt it though. And as soon as it came, it's gone. And we were the most active club in all of England. So I don't know if that's a positive thing or a bad thing. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's a thing. And we're living with it. We did make some deals in between now and the last time I saw you guys. Starting off with the sales we have basically just done loan moves including one for Kamara to get out of the club we've also got Burton who has left the club officially Mundell has gone out on loan McCann has gone out on loan and so has Levi Platt I'll tell you what I was really really indecisive about sending Levi Platt out I think I've made the right call I think it's good for his development to play in a league one side instead of just being sort of a very rotated option for us so I think it's the intelligent decision. We did make one signing, and I think it is a pretty good one. A centre-back option who can also play left-back. He's a left-footed centre-back, which we love to see with 15 pace, some good stats, and a lot of potential to improve. In fact, they believe he has the potential to be a championship defender in the future. Right now, he's a Skybet League 1, so that's not too bad. I imagine he could probably go a wee bit further than that, but you never know. You never know. I am pretty happy with the transfers. We have made 100 and uh, I don't know where I've got 100 for, from, but we're going with it. 10 million spent, only about 7 million uh, actually brought in. So this year is one of the first years I've ever outspent what I brought in, which is pretty impressive for me. I'm, I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. And that doesn't even include all of these transfers that we did make before the transfer window and the season even ended or started. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to see if we made any sales before then. I don't think we made any big ones. Scott Wright and Sims being some big ones, but nothing huge. So all of our money's kind of just trickled in. $3.5 million for a seed or actually was quite ridiculous. So that's where the bulk of our money's come from. But pretty quiet uh, on the sales end, but pretty big on the purchasing end. But we were very close to getting this player here, Ob uh Demi, if I can spell it correctly, there we go, we have got, uh, got him there, they, he was signed by Middlesbrough on deadline day for £2.1 million, he decided to go to them instead of us, even though we offered more, but to be honest, looking at those stats now, I'm kind of happy that he went there, yeah, very good physicals, but just not their best me uh, mental and actually technical, 
So I'm, I'm content about it now. I will take it. I'm happy with the window that we've had. Let me know down in the comment section below. Give me a rating out of 10 for the window that we have had. This is now where we're going to end this episode. Make sure you do like this video. If you have enjoyed it, did I say 8 likes before? That would be insane. Can we please get you subscribing to this channel if you are enjoying the content so far for daily-ish Football Manager FM21 videos. And I will see you all later.